Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and tuning in to this episode. Guys, I have a special video for you guys. Well, I, I think it's special because these videos don't come often on my channel, but we are about to change that because we have some new goals over here in Dollar Diva's coloring world. We are trying to get more things colored this year, every month. So hopefully I will have more finished coloring pages for you guys more often, okay? But this video is going to be everything that I've colored in the past year because I have two other videos of what I've colored previously and it's just straight from the beginning I mean you can see my progress <laughs> from day one <laughs> all the way up until now so we are moving along guys we really are so let's just jump right on into this guys I'm gonna try to go in chronological order uh, what I've colored um, back in December of 2017 on up until January of uh, what I've colored 2019 because I started coloring um, I started adult coloring in June like the end of May beginning of June of 2017 so by December, I had been coloring for like six months. So you guys will be able to see like where I've been, where I'm going, all that good stuff. Okay, so I will try to link the past videos um, above so that you guys can check them out. And I would also try to link the videos because usually... Pretty much everything that I color, um, I have videos on me coloring it for the most part. So, yeah, maybe I'll try to link some of those, but let's go ahead and get started, guys. So, some of my earliest stuff. Now, this is my first time trying straight color for the most part. So I tried straight coloring with, I think I did some Sharpies on this one, and I did a little bit of the metallic paint, but I didn't really like this a whole lot. I also did like some, um, I used the metallic sharpies for that i use regular sharpies for those i use the regular sharpies for the tree and all that all this thing here and i use gel pen i use stickles here or glitter glue one of them and then here i used i think pencil here yeah i used like prismacolor scholars like the gold pencils because this is like very very early work so that's my first attempt at kind of straight coloring and I you know and I use the the galaxy pen to do the little white bits in the sky but I really struggled guys with straight coloring it was it was a real struggle <laughs> to try and straight color and not I, marker I was not a marker girl I just did not know what I was doing when it came to the markerage okay next is my second attempt at straight coloring using sharpies and gel pen so you see it's shiny and I actually have a video of me doing this and you know struggling through it but yeah I didn't do a background or anything because 
I just was like, I just want to get through this. Again, struggling with the straight color. So, yeah, I used Sharpie. Actually, what I did with this is I'm actually kind of proud of this like flower watering pot here because I actually put the Sharpie like ink in a oh uh, let's see here it is in a pan and just scribbled it there and just used a brush and just painted it on there and it gave a really cool effect I really like the effect that it gave but yeah guys this is my first second attempt at straight coloring so you saw how I struggled with that Jade Summer <laughs> like I was trying to use my markers I was trying like really really hard but it just Oh, it was tough. Okay, so here's another attempt at straight coloring again. But here, I used the Gamzai Kiritaki Starry Colors, Gamzai Tambi Starry Colors. Right here, I used um, gel pens, glitter gel pens. On her eyes, I used regular gel pens, metallic gel pens on these parts here. I actually have a video of me doing her stones. I followed the Helliston, Helen Elliston gemstone tutorial with the stones, gemstones. And they came out pretty good. I did the tutorial follow the tutorial and then put some glitter glue stickles on top of them to give them some extra shine up here I tried to work with the Neo 2's I, I'm, I keep trying with them guys and they just girl, oof, they just giving me the blues so I ended up putting some blue glitter glue on top to help it out a little bit because it was horrible and I used uh, Cali Art markers on the puppy's face and hair. And down here on her body, I used the Cali Art markers. And then I went over it, um, all of these. I went over it with the Wink of Stella. Yes. And we have the glitter pen, glitter gel pen. And then for the background... I tried my Reeves watercolor crayons and they actually they're comparable to the Neo 2's I actually enjoyed working with them a little bit better than the Neo 2's <laughs> I don't know it's just something about me and those Neo 2's we just oh my goodness we just we're not we don't get along I don't know why well I do know why because I don't know what I'm doing but <laughs> that is why so my next one is this watercolor picture that I have a video on using, doing a review of the watercolor markers, the brush pen markers. I have the review of this picture here. Very proud of that. Like that picture. It turned out really pretty I really love that but I have two videos on how I did the little ambient background and all that good stuff but I really like this picture and how it turned out so we have that one all right our next one is actually one that I just finished because it was just a work in progress forever so, on the lion and this part of the cage and the guy and his lunchbox and the chair, I used Prismacolor Premier pencils. And can you believe on that lunchbox right there, that part, I actually used the bronze or the gold Prisma pencil. And then on the inside, I used the silver metallic pencil. 
and you see his name is Bob. <laughs> yes, Bob is eating his sandwich. And then here on the railing, I use the Starry Color paint, watercolor metallic paints. And here on this part, I used a silver metallic gel pen. And then for the wall and the floor, I used the Moongyo, yes, Moongyo pastels, chalk pastels. And I really like that. I even made the shadows with the, the chalk pastel. So I really, I'm really proud of how it came out. It was like, it was a simple picture, but it took me like forever to do it because it was like a whip forever. Next, we have, I don't think I showed you guys this one in the title page. And we have the little boys, and this was done with the Hero pencils, the um, Guang Hui MU Hero pencils. So that was like the first picture I really completed with those pencils and I was really happy how they blended and turned out. It was just amazing. Love those pencils. But I don't use them often anymore because after I got them I found the Prismacolor 150s on sale. Uh, so kind of love those now. <laughs> this is the next picture I completed. And let's see, this was done in gel pen and little bits of this was done in metallic gel pen, glitter gel pen up there. And the rest was done in Prismacolor Premier pencils. I really like this one guys really proud of this one how the the blending and everything worked out love it love 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 and this book is one of my absolute favorites oh I got this marked I guess I wanted to do this one at some point oh well that's the only one I have yeah in this book this book will always remain very very special to my heart thank you Nancy this was my first piece of happy mail back when I first started coloring oh my goodness I really I really appreciate it thank you so much Nancy for this gift I will be forever grateful because I wanted this book like forever and she got it for me. Thank you. Love you. Appreciate you. <laughs> okay, so our next one is Home Sweet Home. And I finish this little page here. Not much, but hey, it's, it's a finished page. <laughs> I did this with, um, mm, this was done with the Spira Farben pencils and then the little white part was done with the uh, galaxy marker oh nope that's a chalk marker sorry not that one it wasn't done with that here is the galaxy marker and that's what I did that part with and actually I'm going to show you the whip I was supposed to finish this and I am going to finish it because it's not going to take much but this was done with the Koinor tritone pencils and the regular Koinor poly colors here and yeah all of that was done with the poly colors and the tritones so I'm definitely going to try to finish this like ASAP because it's a super simple picture and there's no reason for me not to finish that. Okay, our next picture is 
this one that I did in Minuet de Bonheur. C. Oh, C. Look. <laughs> Speaking no language. Yes, this was done with a quite a few different pencils. I know I used um I started out using the I was testing out my Marco Renoir watercolor pencils. So I started out that with that and then I switched over here with the um Faber Castell what are they called? Faber Castell Oh my goodness. Whatever the Faber Castell and the green tin is. <laughs> oh my goodness, what in the world? Why can't I What are they called? Faber Castell Poly Chromos. Yes. Oh, we I'm so sorry guys. That's that's a no-no in a coloring community. You you got to know two names in this community. Prismacolor Premier and Polychromos. Whoa, sorry. Yes, Polychromos here, Marco Renoir here, and I think I was trying out, let's see, I think I did Polychromos all here and Marco Renoir all here. Yes, that's what I did. And then we have the gel pen down here and a few of the metallic the Derwent metallic pencils they were here along with the little gel pen so we got that one and I it's this is not a lot of colored pages for you know a whole year <laughs> it's, it's really sad I'm so sorry but this is one I did a video on, and I really, 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 really love this one. This one was done in Prismacolor Premier, and then these were done with the, ooh, I think these were done with the, I'm looking right at them, and I can't call their name. Oh, my goodness. Let me get them. Creta Color, yes. Creta Color Hard Pastels Water Soluble. That's what this was done with. And then the top was done with Soft Pastels. Then I used my little cloud stencil. So we have a video on this. And then I did the title page. And I tried to do a little bokeh, 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 however you say it, background. It was okay how it how it turned out. I wasn't super impressed, but it was all right. Did a little um, glitter glue in the little circles, and this is all done with Prismacolor pencils. Yes, and look at her little um, fishnet stockings, guys. Okay, next we're doing the lint on down. I promise you guys, I'm going to have more this year. More finished pages. I'm, I'm determined to get more done this year. All right, moving along. We got this one that I did. And it's done with the Marco Renoir watercolor pencils and... Prismacolor Premier and a little gel pen. So all of that is done with Marco Renoir watercolor pencil and all of this. And then the rest is done with the Prismacolor. And then we have a little gel pen outlining that, a little glitter gel pen. So I really like this one. This is an older one. 
older picture I finished that's in a previous finish pages video and here's one that I finished now this one I really really like this was done with soft pastels the Prismacolor new pastels and all of this this was the wood the wicker was done with the tritones the mountains were done with the koinor tritones all the bushes and shrubbery and trees were done with the tritones the water was done with the tritones and some white out pen for the little um, waves and water ruffles or whatever uh, the table cushions, not table cushions, the chair cushions and the vase was done with Prismacolor Premier and everything else. And the glass was done with the silver and the gold Prismacolor metallic pencil. And yeah, that's it. And all of this was done with Prismacolor pencil. Yes. So guys, please comment below which one of these is your favorite. And if there are any... Oh, I didn't finish that, so that's a whip. <laughs> if there are any um, things that you guys see in here, and this book is coming apart, if you see anything in here that you see that you would like a tutorial on or to see how I did it, just let me know. Uh-oh, there's something on the back right there. That was done with Prismacolor Premier and the Tritones. And this was done with Prismacolor Premier. This was done with the Tritones and Polycolor. Koinor Polycolor. And that was done with the Tritones. So if there's anything in, in any of these books that you would like to get a how'd you do that on, just let me know in the comments below. And also comment below which one of these pictures, finished pictures, is your favorite. This one was done with Prismacolor Premier on all of this, and the wall is done with the, uh, it's either the Derwent Pastel Pencils or the Stabilo Pastel Pencils, but it was, I have a video on this, and it, this was done with the Pastel Pencils, how I do the shiplap wood with the pastel pencils so but everything else is Prismacolor and I know you guys I just had to make this video because I know how much you guys love watching uh, finished page videos and I love watching those videos so that's why I said I just had to make this video and I just had to you know, I just have to get more coloring done for you guys uh, so that I can have more finished page, finished pages videos. All right. So I have a video on this one. And for the most part, it was done in Prismacolor Premieres. And then the skies was done with the pastel, uh, chalk pastels. Maybe pastel pencils. I don't know. And then we did little stickles on the vase here. And then we have the pastels on the wall. Soft pastels, Moongyo, Moongyo. And the floors. The floors. Oh my goodness, excuse me. Sorry, guys. Voice is leaving me. Done with. I think Prismacolor yeah Prismacolor so I have three videos actually on completing this entire picture so yes that's it not a whip there 
never will probably finish it. I need to. I hate leaving like whips unfinished, so probably will finish that. <laughs> And guys, my favorite, 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 oh my goodness, favorite book in the entire world. This is where I test stuff here. So, that, I hopefully, oh, oh yes, I, I haven't shown you this one. Oh, I did this one so long ago. I have a video on me coloring this. Okay, guys, there's so much going on in this little picture here. We have all of this for the most part done in Prismacolor Premier pencils then we have the inside this pink portion here done with soft pastels the uh, Prismacolor new pastels the inside of the windows all these parts of the windows and the yellow is done with Spira Farben pencils and these, the awnings, they're done with the Lyra Polycolor pencils. I had just got the 24 of the Lyra Polycolor, so I was trying them out, testing them out. So, did those. The stones, sidewalks here, they're done with the Koinor Woodless pencils. We got some little Koinor Tritones going on right here. We have some Chalk Pastel going on right here. This and this, they are done with, not the Prismacolor. Are they done with the Prismacolor? No, they're done with the Spira Farben. And then we have the Woodless Pencils here. We have Soft Pastels here with the light illuminating. We have some Koi Noir. Tritones right here. We have a little um, Faber Castell Polychromos going on right here, and some tritones with the sky. And what else? What else, guys? I just like I said, tried a little bit of everything. Oh, we have a little gel pen right there. Tried a little bit of everything in this picture, but this is absolutely one of my favorite pictures out of all my pictures that I've done because I really learned, I kind of started learning how to blend and layer and shade and where I wanted my light source to come from. That's kind of how I, what I learned on this picture just by just trial and error and just trying it. So we also have some tritones right here. Yes, because it's hard to use those other colors of tritones. So this is actually one of the books that I really want to finish, try to finish the entire book because I love it so much. This page here is primarily done with Prismacolor Premier. And... This is Tritones. This is, I have a video on this one. I think these two, no, not this one. These two are, these are the, the Prismacolor pencils, but then this one is done with chalk um, pencils. I was showing how I do the glass and windows. And then the ground, the pavement is done with... Um, pastels, pastel pencils, Stabilo pastel pencils, and then the wall is done with acrylic paint. I really wanted to give the illusion of kind of like stucco. So it turned out exactly how I imagined it. So I really like it the way it turned out. This one is from my Tiny 10 Tag Challenge using only a 12 set of Polychromos, the little Tiny 10. So that's what I have on there and a little bit of glitter glue. So this is done with all Polychromos, 12 Polychromos, the entire picture. And last 
in this book, but it's definitely not a lease, is this picture. Now, I absolutely love this picture. Th this one and the first one that I showed, my favorites. Oh my goodness, absolutely love it. Now, this picture has some stuff going on in it, guys. I, as you can tell, I am a mixed media girl. I just cannot use one thing on a picture because I actually, how I go about, you know, choosing colors and choosing what medium to use for my pictures, I always go for what is going to help me to achieve what's in my head. The picture that's in my head, that's what I want to, you know, go for, but I want the easiest route. Okay, now what do I mean about that? Let me tell you what I use in this picture. Okay, let's start over here from right to left. Not right to left. I'm just going to say what I use all over the place. Um, here, this, this, this part, this metallic, this metallic over here on the van, this metallic, all of this is... It is the metallic, Derwent metallic pencils and the cheapy, cheapy Michaels pearlescent paints in the pan. I had to put those two together because alone they weren't working. So, yes, that's a little tip for you. If you have those, let me show you the paints. These paints here, this is what I'm talking about. These alone, they are very patchy and they just do not work. And then we have the metallic, the Derwent metallics. Alone, they're not so hot. Um, definitely not dry, but then you add water to them, they're like, uh, okay, but together they are amazing. All right, so the rest of these, like, little doohickeys here, her um, clothes and hair and all skin and all that, all of this. This is Prismacolor Premier. All the woodwork, wood, all the wood is done with the Koinor Tritone pencils. Now, what I mean by I use the medium that makes it easiest for me to achieve what I'm looking for, that's one of the mediums or coloring supply that I have to use to make things so much easier for me. I mean, it gives the perfect effect of wood that I'm going for instead of having to use four or five different colors of the Prismacolor pencils and just blend here and put a little bit there and do a little bit there. Instead of having to do all of that, I just take this one pencil and just color, you know? And I'm done. It's like super quick. And I also use the tritones for the leaves, the tree here, and these trees over here. But I also put a little acrylic, green acrylic paint on top for a little texture. And um, on, I have a video on how I did the, um, I'm sorry for, I keep saying um guys because I'm not, <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I really wanted to get this video out, but I was like, okay, I really have to do it. I cannot procrastinate any longer. I used the Wink Estella, gold Wink Estella over the tritones, and it really just made the wood pop. Right here, this little tiny shiny bit here and here and here and here and here. I used, um, ah, there I am again. I'm um, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I use the pearlescent, uh, pearl, ah, I'm going to shoot my mouth, pearlescent, it's like in a Stickles bottle, but it's the pearl, liquid pearls, that's the name of it, I used it for that, and I thought it really, really stood out and was wonderfully achieved, what I wanted to achieve, I got it. Use some stickles for the coffee pot kettle back there. Prismacolor and all of this right here. And the Gamsai, Gansai Tambi Starry Color Paint for this portion here. 
for the grass, I used Faber-Castell Gelatos. That's again what I mean by finding the easiest medium. <laughs> for the sky, I used Soft Pastels, Prismacolor New Pastels, and Whiteout for the clouds, my little whiteout pen. Sometimes I'll use a whiteout pen. Sometimes I'll use the, what is it? Sometimes I'll use a Jelly Roll or a Stabilo Uniball. Or I will use sometimes my Galaxy Marker for white bits. But, yes. And what else? Yeah, the rest of it. Oh, right here is the Tumbo Markers. I was trying to see what they bleed, and they did a little taste, but not much. And that's pretty much it for this picture. Love this picture, guys. Love, 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 love. And lastly, guys, is what I have recently colored. Recently finally am happy and satisfied I feel a success with the markers guys this picture is what made me what turned me into a marker girl okay so we have our sharpies we have the Crayola alcohol markers here we have the Tombow markers dual tip markers here on the wood we have the Crayola markers on the background of the window there and on her dress we have sharpies on her skin we have Cali art in her hat here we have the Crayola glitter markers and on the vase here guys look at that vase I'm like yes vase I was loving that vase, guys. We have Sharpie here and Glitter Marker here. Gel pen, Cali Art Glitter Gel Pen on her lips. And then we have this poor little section right here, which was what? What did I use there? I know I used Sharpie on the blue part because it's not streaky. But on that red part, I used some type of water-based marker. I don't remember what. But yes, messed that part up right there because I tried to deviate from the, the purpose of straight coloring and tried to do a little blending and shading and it just, nope, it said rejection. And here are the metallic markers I used here. I used a dollar store bronze metallic. Oh, yes, they were metallic markers from the dollar store on this part here. And I was able to achieve a little bit of shading down here, but that was like, okay, don't go too far. And then went here and it was like, okay, you just ran all the way out. So, yes, it took, it took some work, guys, for me to achieve straight coloring. A lot of people feel that straight coloring is is easy and you know, oh, it's straight coloring. Mm -mm, not for Not for people like me. <laughs> I have to restrain myself. Okay, so we have a video on this one too, Little Miss Rosie. And you guys know the backstory on her. She has some issues, but she came up out of them like like a like a true fighter. <laughs> so you know what I used on her? Prismacolor pencils for all of this here. And then we had the ink tints that we used for her hair we tried out the neo twos with this little background portion here which i hate <laughs> don't like that the yellow stripes we were able to use the fiber castell aquarelle art grips like those how they worked and on her skin i used which watercolor pencils oh the prismacolor prismacolor premier watercolor pencils and they were very limited in the palette so 
had to work with that. But I was happy the way Little Miss Rosie came out. You know, you guys were, were very supporting in all of her health issues. <laughs> uh, happy Cupcake Kisses, you told me to go get her some aloe vera juice and draw it beside her so she could, you know, take care of that little skin problem she had. <laughs> the tan that she had, sunburn. <laughs> But she ended up, you know, getting it taken care of. So thank you, everyone, <laughs> who supported Little Miss Rosie in her in her struggles. So that's that one. And last but not least, guys, is this picture here in Mommy and Me. You know, this was a struggle too. But we um, got have this one on video, and we use Sharpie markers. For all of this, we use Cali Art markers for the skin. And for mommy, we use Sharpie markers over the pastel pencils. We were trying out something new. Use Cali Art markers for my little friend back here. He looks just like my baby. And let's see. So, I used pastel pencils for the grass and, not pastel pencils, but just regular chalk pastels for the sky and the grass. And Sharpies for everything else. And the Crayola Signature Blend Markers which I realize are alcohol markers because they smell and they bleed through the paper and they spread and they react just like alcohol markers. So, uh, yeah, they're alcohol markers. And over here, I use the Sharpie Metallic and a little gel pen, glitter, Kelly Art glitter gel pen for the baby's nails, for mommy's nails and lipstick and everything but yeah the pastel I think I was using the wrong pastel pencils I know the Stabilos they really don't like this paper but the chalk regular chalk pastels did really good so I think it's just certain pastels that that works great but I really like this paper this um, page coloring page after this I hurry up and went ordered me some skin tones so I could have a different range of you know skin tones and everything but yes guys so what do you guys think which one was your favorite coloring page guys this was like do you see the progress and like how I've you know changed and trying to learn new things and go through different mediums you know because I have all these different art supply and I need to use them so you guys are going to be seeing a lot of new struggles <laughs> we're going to learn together and guys I cannot wait it will be two years that I've been coloring come June I cannot wait for my colorversary I am just Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I just, I, I can just imagine just, hopefully I'll be a lot better. Hopefully, I know I would have learned a lot more stuff, a lot more techniques. Um, just, it's, it's, it's great to go forward in your hobby and in your craft and just keep learning. So I'm, I'm excited that I've been doing this for a year and a half. So I'm ready to just, I'm ready to just go forward with you guys and for both of us to, all of us, both of us, you and I, <laughs> to just keep learning and, and keep practicing. We'll never be perfect. I know there are a lot of color tubers and colorists out there who are amazing at this art and this craft, but just do you do you boo boo I mean if you straight color that's okay I mean I'm trying to learn to straight color if you love to blend and shade and layer and light layers or heavy hand or whatever it is that you do to make your piece yours 
That's awesome. That's amazing. You are doing you and you can't do anyone else. You may try to um, like do like follow someone's tutorial or technique or something, but eventually you're going to do something that makes it yours. Nothing is going to look exactly the same because we aren't the same body. But that's a whole nother YouTube video. That's a whole nother story. <laughs> So guys, that's it for this video. And I promise we are going to have more finished coloring page videos coming because I'm going to try to get more coloring done and just just try to do more, okay? Using up my supplies, using what I have, and I'm going to try not to do what? I'm not going to say I'm gonna, not going to buy any more coloring supplies or coloring books. I am going to try to use them more. That's what I'm going to do. But if I purchase like coloring supplies or coloring books, I'm going to try to get rid of some or either use some up or we just got to figure out something, guys, because that's half of the hobby and the struggle is purchasing coloring supplies <laughs> and books. That's part of the fun. Okay, guys, so that is it. Thank you so much for tuning in to this completed pages video guys please give this video a thumbs up if you like videos like these and if you enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up also if you want to see more videos like this please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite coloring page or would you like to see a particular technique or something that I colored that you're interested in or a supply? Would you be interested in how I used it or a review on it? Just whatever you'd like to see, let me know. Leave it in the comments below, okay? And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please consider subscribing. That just lets me know, you know, that you guys enjoy watching these videos and that you're part of the Dollar Diva fam. Yeah, okay. But if not, no problem. Just keep watching videos, please. Thank you. <laughs> so guys, I will try to leave my influencer Amazon link below. I probably won't list all the books and everything. I'll just leave the influencer link. That way you can just click the link then you can go and search for whichever one of these books or whatever you would like to purchase. And then you would like to be able to let this channel get a little kickback. Hey, thank you so much. Every cent counts. And it's free to you. Nothing extra is added to your, you know, Amazon account or anything. But okay, enough of me rambling, guys. I'm so sorry. So, 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 so sorry. <laughs> Thanks again for tuning in, and I would like to tell each and every one of you to have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day, and happy coloring!